applause for Mr. Hale. All right, who's next to bore everybody? Come on up. <laughs> so, you don't have to be afraid. I'm, I'm not going to embarrass you badly. <laughs> um, just as a side note, um, we think that we're related. I don't know that I should admit that, but my great-great-grandmother was a Hale. Uh, and so, anyway, uh, it, it pleases me to, to be here today. So, on behalf of the RCI IBEC Foundation and all of our members, and our members are uh, truly international in, in scope, um, we are pleased to present, I guess to you, if you will come up for a moment. I got this. Okay. I got it. I'm going to you. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. Mm -hmm. On behalf of the Founda RCI IBEC Foundation, we are pleased to donate $40,000 toward the new library on behalf of Joe Hale. So thank you. And we also have another little surprise for you also, Mr. Joe. We are also calling it the Joe Hale Public Library of Fort Chiswell. In your honor. lives you've touched and this is a great honor for us to present to you <laughs> thank, thank, thank you so much it, it, uh, for people like Helene that knows me I probably would have argued against you doing anything like this <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was a secret <laughs> the, uh, The foundation has meant so much to me that over the years it's been like family. Uh, I want Helene to say a few words because we've, we've bantered in public and on record and I left her a message on her cell phone whether she was flying in on her broom or not. <laughs> and for new members that come on the foundation they were somewhat a guess that we bandered back and forth in good humor and uh, as far as I know neither of us ever hurt each other's feelings and uh, she's one of the people that I've met of so many that when she tells you something you can take it to the bank it's going to be that way and people that have integrity and their word means something is what we're all about and this is the most overwhelming thing that's ever happened to me in my life and I, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it thank you thank you you're very welcome For those of you that don't know, um, RCI IBEC is the Group Consultants Institute and now the International Institute of Building Envelope Consultants. And Joe has been a driving force of that organization within our industry, the roofing industry, for decades. And I have had the pleasure to have Joe as a mentor and friend and for 20 years on the foundation board. And yes, my broom is parked over there, <laughs> Joe. And so, he, um, but Joe has been the driving force also behind the foundation. And he was our founding chair and remained as chair of the IBEC, RCI IBEC Foundation until about two weeks ago. And so there is this library is near and dear to his heart 
and so we just thought it appropriate that we honor all of his contributions to something that means so much to him. So thank you all very much, and we are just happy to be able to recognize you, Joe. Okay? So, so Joe, we weren't going to let this day go by without giving you one more special honor, if you will. And you and I have only met on the phone. I'm Brian Palish. I'm the new CEO of IBEC. I have yet to, finally today I made it up here to meet you. So um, the, the jury of fellows uh, convened a, uh, I guess, a email meeting last week. Um, and then the IBEC board of, of directors voted unanimously uh, earlier this week. And we are awarding you, Joe, the very first and the only honorary RRC to ever be given to anyone associated with IBEC, also RCI. So this is an honorary registered roof consultant, and you have earned this in every step of the way. Without you, there would be no RCI, um, and I'm, I'm well aware of that, and frankly, I wouldn't be here either then, so that's important to me, so. And you make the big buck. <laughs> well, it, it's been a long year, Joe, and let me tell you. I mean, um, but, but we want to thank you for all that you've done um, and, and honor you with this, uh, the very first um, of its kind and honorary our registered roof consultant. So you have that. Thank you so much. And I believe Dick and Sid are both have a few things to say about that. Well, as, as a, a member of the jury of fellows, Joe, um, it was a unanimous vote. There was no discussion whatsoever that you deserve this, and we wanted to make sure that, that you understand how much we care for you and what you have done for us. Um, Dick Cannon, um, for, for those of you that don't know, uh, the RRC, we have a variety, the, uh, the organization has a variety of registrations, and RRC, Registered Roof Consultant, is, is one of those. Um, and it is necessary then um, that we have, Joe is one of our fellow RRCs now, and I think that's that uh, says a lot about what you have done for the organization. All of our registrations have numbers. They're sequential. Um, Dick Cannon's number is 002. So he was the second registered roof consultant in the organization many years ago. So Dick, if you want to, to say a few words. Sure. Well, it's, you really can't tell things about what somebody's really saying unless you see the face. So if you're concerned, just breathe lightly. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's up, Joe? <laughs> so, those of you that are in local community know Joe, but you don't know the influence he's had literally worldwide. Um, it, when we founded the Roof Consultants Institute in 1983, I believe it was, um, the reason we did it was because there were people that called themselves roof consultants that didn't know a roof from a shoehorn. Um, and we wanted to fix that. And the registration programs accomplished one of those goals. One of the things that we found out, and it took me a while, uh, not to boast, but I'm an engineer. I've designed a lot of different things uh, buildings, types of buildings, types of structures. But I can tell you as a licensed engineer, nothing is more complex than a roof. I went uh, and, and met with um, a cardiologist yesterday and he showed me a picture of my heart and a diagram of my heart. It had all of the arteries and uh, all the parts and pieces labeled. And I thought, you know, that's pretty complex, but that ain't nothing compared to a roof. <laughs> <laughs> right now, there are over a million combinations of materials that can be used 
to construct a roof. And it took me a while into my profession as a roof consultant to realize that what I do, what Joe has done, and what these other members of RCI, IBEC, have done is important. If you don't think that it is, stand up and look at the night sky when your roof is just blown off because somebody didn't design it right or somebody didn't build it right. And then you start to see a little bit of value in what we do. Um, Joe was, the day that I met Joe, I thought, well, now who in the world is that country bumpkin coming in here? <laughs> <laughs> and while he was talking with uh, me and my wife, and we were at a hotel, a big, nice, lavish hotel, and they had artificial plants. And Joe was talking to me, and he said, well, Dick, I want to tell you a kind of something. Excuse me, just a minute. <laughs> and then he finished. And it has made a lasting impression on me. That here's this Virginia hillbilly that I consider to be my mentor, one of my closest friends, and one of God's children. And I just can't think of anything that would flatter me more than to have a place of learning and an opportunity to learn named after me. It is such an honor that has been bestowed upon you by your, your community, Joe. And for the uh, RRC, you should have had 001. You should have had 001. But Don Bush, bless his heart, was alphabetically got in line first. Um, I congratulate you on a life accomplishment. A second, he also got the Lifetime Achievement Award from our organization, the first. And that lady right there puts up with more crap than anybody I believe I know. <laughs> and, his, and his children and his, his extended family uh, Norman love him just like we do. Uh, I didn't have a script today, but it's a bad thing to let me get up because I can tell you this. There ain't anybody that I'd rather hear talk than me. <laughs> I really mean Joe. Congratulations, Joe. Kiss me. I'd hug your neck if I could. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Dick is one of the best products ever put out of Auburn University. Uh, they, they've turned out some pretty good engineers down there, but uh, when I become a member of RCI, uh, Mr. Carell, who was the very first person that taught some of the people how to spell ethics, and uh, I, I wasn't a charter member because they had a couple of members that I knew well and knew that I didn't want to be a part of the same organization. And uh, Mr. Creel kept telling me, he said, we've got this kid, uh, Cannon. So that'll tell you how many years ago it's been. Look how he's wore. Uh, <laughs> He said, we've got some young men named, uh, like Dick Cannon and others that are going to straighten this out. And if you'll go ahead and become a member, we'll get rid of the problems and we'll be the organization that it can be. And Mr. Carell had a connection here to West County. Uh, he had married somebody from Rural Treat and they outlived all their relatives, so they inherited land around Little Retreat. And uh, we honored Mr. Carell as one of the highlights of uh, my involvement with the Institute up till that time was that we invited him back to one of our conventions. And uh, it would happen to be the year that I was national president. And we spent a lot of time trying to bestow honor on the man that brought the ethical foundation that the Institute still stands for. And without any 
demand for ethics, we can't have a good organization. And my family at IBEC RCI has been like family. And uh, I hope the executive director can tell me roughly how many members we've got today worldwide. Uh, we're at 3,600, give or take a few. And a few people owe money right now, but we're, we'll get that. <laughs> well, when, we're, when we started, you could have called it the near 85 club because it was a bunch of southern people up and down 85 that started. And uh, we, we lost that guy a couple of years ago that had the idea. And all I could say was, Bob, thank you for the inspiration. You know, it took a lot of other people to make it grow. Uh, Dick's been a foundation member. Uh, was on our board of directors at one time. And since he's so into hourly billing, he didn't have enough time to do everything. So, but Can I say a few words today? Sure, Roy, thank you. Uh, I'm not going to get into Jay's accomplishment because we ain't got enough time. But since he's been a member, was his member's board of supervisors, we'd never have paved roads on gravel roads, and Joe Hill got it done. I uh, met him years ago through politics, and he's the smartest and intelligent man I ever knew, and he's got patience, which I don't have, but I love him like a daddy. That's all I got to say. Thank you. I, uh, I propose that subject to his diet, he'd be the first one through the line with your assistance. <laughs> I brought something I wanted to give the committee. Who, who's here with the committee? Where's the... I'm right here. Uh, if you want to lay this out where people can see it, okay. here, here's a rough floor plan of what we've got to work with. And it, it won't take a lot of effort. And we've got an outstanding East Tennessee architect with us here. Uh, that, that property is almost ready now to become a library. Uh, the ones of you that haven't seen a picture of it, it looks a whole lot more like library than it does uh, a bank. It, it, uh, it has the most valuable piece of property in Port Chisel uh, that it's at a primary intersection. Uh, it's just a wonderful building. Uh, we've done an environmental study on it. It's a healthy building. And all we need is more funding and make sure it goes. Uh, I feel sure with this overwhelming thing that the foundation's done, I can tell you, I believe, I know we don't have a treasurer's report, but some of you know me that I keep up with money numbers pretty well in my head. Um, Y'all have made it possible that we got the down payment covered, and I thank you for that. Uh, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, and I appreciate what was said about helping the communities. If you haven't been to Ivanhoe, you, you have to go because it's quite an experience. And probably if it's daylight, you won't need a bodyguard. Uh, but uh, but uh, th th this library will give us so many people in our community access to the internet that we don't have. And I hope that we'll have the foresight to put good connections in there and have good computer access for the people when the students, the kids don't have it. And during this time of the epidemic, it was so important. And all of you have heard about the last mile. We've got a fiber optic tap right there in that building that's never been hooked up by our telephone company. Uh, with, with a little bit of government help and with the county getting behind it, we could have much better coverage. Uh, the future is bright if we make it bright. I'm not done yet. Everything from uh, waste up is still working. 
Except a friend of mine told me that it really wasn't, and y'all just haven't told me yet. So <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all for this honor. Uh, it's the most overwhelming thing that's ever happened in my life. Uh, I think all of my children are here. Uh, y'all want to introduce yourselves? All, all of them work for a living. I don't think any of them are on welfare. Uh, well, I'm Jody Hale Minnick, and I live in Floyd County, Virginia. I'm the oldest, so I'll start. And uh, one thing I can say about my dad, he is continually striving to make the world a better place. Yes. Yes. If there is any way that he can figure out to lift a person up, to make their life better, He'll be on the phone or talking to a person and trying to make that happen. And he has a deep, deep uh, abiding faith and a deep love of our land and our wild places. And Mother Nature and just an outstanding human being. Thank you. Yes. Uh, his oldest son and, and Jody's a preacher so I'm not going to talk as good as she did <laughs> but uh, um, I just want to thank you all and, and thank you dad and say congratulations I'm Tim I'm the youngest uh, live here close spent a lot of time working with dad on the property which he loves so much and uh, just want to say we love you, Pop. <laughs> Thank y'all all very much. Uh, lay it out and get it together. We didn't have to pay anybody to build it. Everybody chipped in. And, uh, of course, the county had to come and tell us how to do it with the building officials. But it... Uh, <laughs> This slab was poured in the dead of winter, and everybody said we couldn't do it. Uh, I went to Lowe's and covered it with the thin extru extru extruded polystyrene, and then put uh, tarps over it, and put boards on that to keep the wind blowing it off, and left it till spring, and we uncovered it, and I don't think there's a crack anywhere in it. And that's hard to do with a slab poured in the dead of winter. Uh, I'm real proud of this shelter. I just wish it was used more. Uh, if I may add to that, that would be all right. Hey, Jeff. You take a look around Max Meadows here. If there's a little bit of view, not blocked by these buildings, but every single community building, either you built help build, finance, or get done. Lighting for the athletic field, this building. Ruatan's been redone. Mm -hmm. Everything, the bathrooms, pavilion over there. Go up Miller's Creek Road, improve the road for all the residents up there. It's a poor road, now it's a pretty good road. And that's just right here where we could just sit and look around and see it all. And I know, I've only known you for 17 years, you and Patsy, that every day you're working on something for the community. Yes. Don't and, uh, thing, yes. Uh, it, there's projects that's just out of sight. You've been involved in. You, you've helped not just this community, but all communities that you uh -huh. seem to be involved with. And thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jeff. The the <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> By Helene, as she's, you know, she's wanting to do, and, and I appreciate that. Um, part of, we have the $40,000 check, but Rick is currently in the process of soliciting additional contributions from the IBEC family to add to that, that dollar amount. Am I allowed to say how much we have so far, Rick? Can I say that? Okay. Yeah. So, and that check will be the next one that comes. So far, we have twenty-one thousand dollars. Oh, and nice, so that, nice. check is, that, that check is growing. Um, 
Rick, Rick and I had a discussion, and our goal is to match, hopefully, from the Ibeck family, match that forty thousand, so that it become it can become eighty thousand. That's our that's our quest, and we have some phone calls to make, and we'll make those phone calls. But that's our goal. So I didn't want you to. We, you need to know that too. So. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. Uh, that puts us to the reality of it really happening. Yes. yes it thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Helene. Hey, Helene, you come up here, bud. <laughs> Helene? Helene. <laughs> this is a bladed something for you. That's, that's Please open that so Rick can do his photograph. They don't need to see these. Well, yes, they do. Uh, dear Hunters, we need a knife. Yeah, who's got a knife? Yeah, Dear no, Hunters, we need a knife. Don't use a knife right on the bottom. <laughs> Oh, don't. Ah, no, that's not No, 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. It's talented boy. A lot to do with that. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. oh Thank you so much. They're, they're from David Hahn. <laughs> oh, do you? Okay. So everybody's like, what's in the box that's making her cry? Um, if you. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Patsy made them. These are. Patsy, Reggie, Dan, and the other guys. Like that, if I made it for you, and you're going to embarrass me you now. Me kind of embarrassed, but he said, "Well, yes." So everybody went to the foundation, um, and Joe and I slipped up the room and we dressed like this. Oh. <laughs> And we I want pictures. Had hats with red hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they took pictures. Billy said, I almost cried. How did you get Daddy to do this? <laughs> oh, but that was really fun. <laughs> they were women much was. joy to, uh, to families uh, across the country <laughs> over the years. Oh, fancy. They're wonderful. Thank you all again. <laughs> You're holding up the eating now. Yeah, now